Hello, um, I'm Alberto Potocini, the Deputy Director of the Florence School of Regulation. I'm here today with Susanna Mazzalampi. Uh, she is the lead legal advisor in the Finnish Transport Authority, Transport and Communication Agency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've been here together in, in this event, uh, co-organized by DG Move and Florence School of Regulation. And the first question that I will ask uh, Susanna is, uh, what are the main messages that you're taking uh, from this morning's discussions? Well, um, we were talking about filling the gaps and getting go, going forward in, in the European transport area. I think we had very good discussions on, on trying to see where we still have uh, discrepancies, I would say, in the, the European transport market. We are not all on the same level in different modes of transport. For example, the, the, the liberalization of the market in the aviation arena is much further than in, in the, in, on the railroad sector, which is dependent on the fact, for example, that the infrastructure for railways is, is much uh, owned and, and, and uh, managed uh, by state monopolies or or or, or state uh, operators, so it was uh, the the other thing um, that was uh, interesting. Also, was the fact that uh, the infrastructure is sometimes uh, can be there can be uh, needs to be uh, modernized in some instances. So it's not only the services, it's also that we need to have sufficient funding to be able to modernize the, the infrastructure and, and um, services so that we can make the best of, of all these. Um, I think my, my own, own, own point of view was the fact that we should be looking at the, the comprehensive transport system to be able to see what are the the inter how we can make it more efficient more interoperable so that different modes of transport complete complement each other but when they also compete that you are able to create a level playing field um these are some points. <laughs> so uh, so you mentioned gaps and um we have uh, a, a, an objective of creating a European transport area as part of the internal market. Um, which measures do you think are still needed in order to achieve that, that goal and have a really seamless uh, European transport area? I think that the first thing, or what we obviously need every, every time, it's, it's gathering information, collecting information, uh, gathering data to be able to to uh, do also proper uh, solid impact assessments of where the gaps lie to really recognize what is the the what are the reasons for for the for not achieving operability for not being competitive for not being able to to uh, to create a smoothly functioning, really, the, really a system where you can kind of put your wish of what you want to get in, in, into the system, uh, press the button and get the outcome <laughs> on the other end. So I think that it's, it's uh, gathering data, making the system uh, as digital as possible. So it would be digital by default. And then, uh, and here, when we are trying to do that, we obviously will recognize the different parts that still need development in order to, so that we can, we can come up with all, all those. Well, thank you very much and good luck both at national level and also for contributing, in contributing to European effort here. So thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you.